What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabar Tour where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test 5 Vantage Gadgets. Let's check this out. For the first gadget I think this is an ice shredder. Look at this, all the spikes inside of it. Pretty cool. So I got here a couple of balls and we're going to try to shred this ice cubes. Let's load it up. I think at least 3 or 4 will fit. Boom, I think four will fit easily. And then look, it attaches like this. And then I just gonna, boom, shred it. All the way, close it. Look at that, all the eyes have shredded. Look how well it works. We loaded up three pieces of ice and you see how these spikes, I just crush all that ice. Boom. And it's so durable, it's all, Aluminum, I think. It's all metal. It's really nice. Here you go, four pieces of ice. Look at that. Nice. Crushed it all up. And here we got crushed ice. Pretty awesome. I really like that gadget. I don't think a lot of people will use it now because the refrigerator can shred ice right out of the ice maker machine but this is still a cool gadget from back in the day i love it for this gadget look at that guess what is this whoop wow foldable egg basket i actually growing up used to have one of those this is so cool whoop so if you have chicken coop that will work the best and also when you don't need it you just lay it down and it doesn't take up much space at all, especially if you have five of them, you can just stack it up. Boom, I love that design, how it just collapses. There's also another egg basket and it looks like this, but it has this wire lid like that. And if I push it down all the way, it's open, you see it? And now if I pull it on one of them, it will open this way if I want to, but to close it, just pull it down this way and now it's closed. A really cool design for sure. Let's fill it up with eggs and see what it looks like. So you go to your chicken coop and you just like this, fill it up with eggs, your basket. I wish I had more eggs, but this is what it's going to look like. Same thing with this one, you just go to your chicken coop, grab a bunch of eggs. I only have like eight eggs, I wish I had more. And this one is really cool because it has a pointy on the top, so that way all the eggs are stay uh, on the side. I like this um, egg baskets a lot. I actually have a chicken coop. I don't have any chicken yet, yet probably next year, and I'm actually going to use this. And boom, I can close this right here. Look how beautiful that is. Look how cool this looks, this egg basket. I love this. I cannot wait to have chickens. I'll be using this all the time. For this gadget, I really like that one. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, I have to buy it and show it for you. If I press it here, look at this, what happens. Boom, it opens. And to lock it, boom. This is so cool. It's, I think it's stainless steel. Maybe not, maybe it's something else. But it is very durable. So what I'm going to do is, Open it like that, grab some tea, and then close it. Boom, here you go. And there is tea inside of it. Then what we're going to do, put it in a cup like this, and then put hot water inside of it. Whoa, this is so awesome. Maybe I put a little bit too much tea inside of it so it didn't get closed all the way. That's why some of the tea have run out from there. I really love this gadget so much, look at this. And that way you don't have to use paper all the time. And you know what, tea in a jar like that comes way better than in the tea bags. That's 100%. And when I'm done with this tea, just open it up, boom, dump it out, rinse it off, and you can use it again. I love that a lot. One mistake I did, I put too much tea. And when that happens, it will escape into your tea, which is not a big deal, but still. Look at this, this is so cool. Look, when you 
hold it flat, it looks flat, but when you spin, it's just so weird. And it's so much fun spinning it, it feels so good. Look at these gears. I love all type of gears, especially when it's like vintage stuff. And I love how there's a cover right here. So let's say if you mix in something inside of the jar, so that way it's not going to spill it. Of course, this is just like an example. Look how fast can it go. This is so cool. Okay, let's put some flour in. Couple of eggs. Let's say if we're gonna make crepes or whatever. Cool, right? And then I'm just gonna get this little thing. Oh my gosh, it spins so fast. This is so awesome. Oh, it spins all over me. Maybe I gotta mix it first like this. Look how well it works, this is so cool. You know what guys, I'm really happy to have all these gadgets because in, if anything, if there's a blackout for a month, I still gonna be able to cook because I have a gas stove and I can still make crepes because I don't need electricity for this mixer. I can still mix everything up. Look how well it mixed everything. It looks so beat up and mixed. Wow, this is amazing. Look, this so whipped. Look at it. It's whipped really, really well. Amazing. So you know what? A huge thumbs up for me for this little thing. I love it that it doesn't need any electricity. I don't know why I put hand in it. And the last vintage gadget, look at that can opener. It's so small, I don't even know how to use it. How do you hold it? I think maybe this way? No, this way? No, this blade probably have to go this way. Maybe that way? I don't know, I have no idea. So don't, ju don't judge me. Is this how it works? No, mine. Maybe not this way. Maybe I'm putting it the wrong way. Okay, I should have done a search right away. I think the way it works is actually you're supposed to put the blade on top like that. And then you see this piece is locked into here. And then to penetrate it, just push it in. Ah, oh, man, it's hard. Oh, you just twist it and it will penetrate it by itself. Whoa, that's so easy. Wow, look at that. Look how cool this looks. 1920, this is when it was invented, I think. So it's almost a hundred year old can opener. It's so little, but it's so cool. I really like how little this is. So that way it doesn't take off too much space. So how do you take it off now? Oh, it's stuck. So I just open it like that and boom, we open the can. Boom. Let's do this one more time. Open this, you see, just like that. Push it in and then start twisting it. Boom, it locked in. Now it's easy. Look how easy it is. So much fun. Boom. Awesome, I love this little 100 year old, almost 100 year old can open a gadget. And look, it says safety roll because safety is number one priority. Well guys, that's pretty much it. If you still like this videos where I test vintage gadgets, give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. I really love these two eye shredder. You don't really have to use it anymore as much. And that mixer is so cool with all those gears. Love it so much. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.